hello friends how are you all this is lecture road and welcome back to my channel so in this video i will be explaining you the basics of terraform uh, so yeah let's get started so this is my vs code and let me first save this file this was already opened so let us save it in home directory and give it a name terraform test dot tf so the first point here to note is that every terraform file ends with an extension called .tf so i will keep on noting these points so you can pause the video and note these points terraform files end with an extension of .tf so every terraform file ex uh, ends with this extension so this is the first point you need to figure out and now the second point is terraform consists of providers so terraform if i give you a one liner terraform is used to provision resources it is a infrastructure as a code tool uh, which is used to provision resources infrastructure as code tool used to provision resources where you can provision resources on any cloud provider like azure aws gcp so to provision that resources to help terraform to uh, provision that resources on azure aws or gcp terraform makes use of providers so just like if for example if we need to uh, provision a resource on azure then we use, use azure rm provider similarly for aws we use aws provider and similarly for gcp so in this video i'm not going to explain you the theoretical part that you can very well uh, do it from google and the terraform documents i will be just giving you a basic idea and then move on to the basic coding part so these are these are the points and let me switch to terraform documentation azure resource group terraform so terraform documentation is very good you can just follow that documentation and start learning terraform because the, this is a type of coding only you can consider and nobody can learn coding by watching a single video i can give you a brief idea and the approach and then you need to follow that approach because reading documentation is often very hectic and people get bored so that's why i'm making this video so these are the points and i will keep on noting the other points if i have in this uh, notepad vs code so as i told you terraform makes use of providers it is an infrastructure as code tool which makes use of providers so azure rm aws are the providers since i am right now provisioning a resource on azure so i will be using azure rm provider you can see on the left hand side so i just need to use this provider simply copy and paste it terraform required providers azure rm source of the provider azure rm and the version of the provider and in configuration options i can give a features block you need to give this features block otherwise terraform will give you an error that features block is missing so you need to first give this provider terraform required provider provider name provider version source and the features block and one more important thing to note prerequisite terraform needs to be installed on your windows or ubuntu machine before you start running this terraform code now what we need to do so i am going to explain like give you a basic idea so this is a basic terraform code block so every terraform code block consists of a keyword called resource and the resource type if you are creating resource group then the keyword is azure rm resource group if you are creating a virtual machine then the resource group is azure rm vm and similarly for other resources for vnet subnet nicart 
different different resources we have different different types here declared so for that you can simply go to terraform documentation just search for azure vm terraform and you can simply open this go to this link and look at the code and here is this is the resource id and this is unique for every resource so this must be unique and this is the name of the resource group i am giving it a name test rg and the location west europe okay so this is the basic code we can use like to provision a resource group so let me first uh, open the terminal Uh, where is this file located terraform iphone tf it's in home directory if i do an ls uh, where is this terraform test.tf so now we are about to execute this code so to execute a terraform code we have three commands let me write commands to execute a terraform code first is terraform init second is terraform plan apply so these are the three main commands we basically use in real time also when i write some terraform code i basically use these three commands and one more command i use terraform mm, fmt so let me just give you a brief idea uh, what these commands actually do initialization so what terraform init commands do it basically do an initialization of your code initialization means just downloading all the providers and plugins so that terraform can run your code and then comes terraform plan it basically generates an execution plan of the terraform code execution plan means so terraform wants to know what resources it needs to create what resources it needs to destroy so for that it generates an execution plan at the back end and then final provisioning happens terraform apply command which basic basically does the final provisioning final deployment of your code to azure or aws or maybe gcp or maybe not deploy and then uh, destroy also terraform fmt formats the code so what terraform fmt do it basically does a formatting your uh, code gets aligned in a proper structure with terraform fmt command so i will run all these commands and then you will come to know better so let me first uh, give some spaces let me disturb the alignment and uh, see we have terraform hyphen test dot tf so let me remove terraform dot tf file okay now i have only terraform hyphen test dot tf okay now first do terraform fmt formatting <coughs> see so terraform hyphen test was formatted correctly so with terraform fmt it basically formats your code in a correct format okay now do terraform init it basically initializes downloads the providers plugin see it's installing hashicorp azure rm plugin so this is what it does at the back end with terraform init command so terraform has been successfully initialized you may now begin working with the terraform try running terraform plan to see any changes so now we need to run terraform plan to generate the execution plan terraform plan <coughs> sorry so uh, at the back end it will generate the execution plan so all these <coughs> basically information is stored in terraform.tf state files so if you go to terraform documentation and look at the terraform.tf state file so they have a very good explanation and you can see what is terraform.tf state file so terraform.tf state file i will give you a basic idea what is terraform.tf state so it basically stores the current 
configuration state so terraform dot ts states file basically stores the current configuration state so terraform basically looks into that file every time and then it comes to know that terraform needs to create this this particular resources so it contains all the configuration so till now we have run terraform fmt which is formatting terraform init which is initialization terraform plan which is execution and now it's time to run it's time to run terraform apply so let me run terraform apply but uh, i will not be running this terraform apply command in this video because unfortunately my azure subscription is disabled so i will not be able to deploy sorry for that i will be renewing my azure subscription maybe in a couple of days so let me show you like uh, terraform apply when i run terraform apply it will ask for my confirmation okay so yeah it's asking for your confirmation so terraform will perform the actions described below only yes will be accepted to approve so if you need to enter yes then only it will be approved i am putting control c when you are doing in your own system you can type yes and press enter i am why i am doing control c because as i told you my azure subscription is currently disabled so i'm not able to deploy this so yeah so guys this was all about terraform basics in this video if i just give a sum uh, summarization so what i have done basically starting first you need to install terraform in your system and then you need to create files uh, with the extension .tf files and uh, so terraform consists of providers azure rm aws gcp provider so this is a provider block terraform required providers azure rm source version features block this code can you can uh, fetch this code from terraform documentation and these are the main commands that you need to remember while running terraform while while running terraform code terraform init plan apply fmt init is initialization plan is generating an execution plan apply is finally <coughs> deployment fmt is formatting your code and about terraform.tf state file it basically stores your current configuration state so terraform basically determines the its actions from terraform.tf state file only and let me give you some more pointers like how we manage terraform code when working in real time environment so in so this was just a practice to let you know about the basics of terraform so when we do like the same thing in real time things change not much but maybe a little how so they change with respect to the files so we create separate files like main dot tf vars dot tf output dot tf so what are these files actually main dot so as you can see this is the code right in main dot tf file you keep you will keep all this code and in vars dot tf file you will uh, keep all the variables let's suppose if i am using a variable like var dot rg name so i am variableizing the name resource group name over here for that i will create a new file name it vars.tf and declare a variable okay so this is how we declare so i am just giving you a b basic idea so yeah this is how we create uh, different files in terraform for variables we have separate file and for output.tf output.tf file basically contains your uh, uh, output let's suppose you want to use a variable value in some other file then we use output.tf file so that will be part of the up upcoming lectures right now this was just a basic video and hope you guys have enjoyed and understood the basic concepts and for practice you can go to terraform documentation and start practicing on your own and i will be creating further videos on this 
so terraform documentation is very good you can follow this documentation for azure aws or uh, the cloud provider which you like so yeah that's it guide for this video and uh, hope you have liked it thank you for watching bye bye